Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss the foreign tax credit. It's very important to understand the purpose of a credit because once you understand its purpose, it's easier to understand its computation. So you'll have more an intuitive sense of how to compute this credit without memorizing the specific rules. What is the foreign tax credit? It's basically a relief mechanism. A way to do what? To facilitate trade to facilitate movement of people across boundaries to work in other countries. It allows individuals and businesses to offset taxes they paid to a foreign government on foreign sourced income against their domestic liability. So let's assume you are a USA citizen and you travel to Asia to work in Asia. When you work in Asia, let's assume you're working in Japan. You're gonna have to pay taxes in Japan What's going to happen is this. The taxes that you pay in Japan, because you have to report your wo worldwide income in the U.S., you have to report this income in the U.S. So any, uh, any money you earn in Japan, you have to report in the U.S. Since you paid taxes in Japan, you can use those taxes paid as a credit to offset your tax bill. So this is the general idea. So you are not... What's the, what's the overall idea? The over, I, overall idea, if you have paid money to a foreign government on income earned abroad, you may be eligible to claim a credit. Now, why you may, it's not, uh, you can, you know, the, the country cannot be on the terrorist list or anything like this. And, we, and the US will have to have an agreement with them, some sort of a mutual agreement. Okay, so you pay the taxes over there, you can claim credit on your domestic tax bill or get some of the taxes paid back there's a limitation and this basically help avoids what we know in accounting double taxation so the money is not taxed twice it's not taxed in japan then also taxed in the us the purpose is to do what to promote to encourage people to go work abroad to promote international trade because foreign tax credit applies to individual as well as corporation now obviously the foreign tax credit is subject to certain limitations so not everything you pay in japan in terms of federal income tax, you will be giving credit for. Now, this is a basic introduction course, and what I'm going to be covering here is good enough for either basic accounting, basic tax course, or the CPA exam. If you want more topics, advanced topic, I do have an international accounting course where I where I dive a little bit more into this topic. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Let's talk about the limitation of foreign tax credit. The limitation of foreign tax credit, foreign tax credit, FTC, is the lesser of whatever you paid foreign taxes incurred or the federal income tax paid on the double taxed income. So what does that mean? It's whatever you paid in the US, the lesser of that amount, or you have to look at another amount, how much you would have paid for that money in the US which is so you're not subject to double taxation. And don't worry, we'll work a few examples. So let's assume Green, a US-based company, sells gadget in Mexico. And the profit for this US company in Mexico totaled $8 million. Now, Green is subject to a 30% US tax rate. In Mexico, Green is only responsible for 20%. Here's what's going to happen. Green tax bill, if we compute green tax bill in the US, which is 2 million times 30%, green's tax bill will be 6 million. And green, since they operate in Mexico, they have to also compute their taxes in Mexico. They have to pay their tax bill in Mexico. 2 million times 20%, they're gonna have to write a $400,000 bill to the Mexican government. So how much would green end up paying in the US? Well. The tax bill is 600,000. Since green paid 400 in Mexico, what's left is 200,000. If you notice, green corporation recovered the full taxes paid in Mexico. Why? 
because the foreign taxes paid are lesser the 400,000 are lesser than if that income was taxed in the US if that income was taxed in the US they would have to pay 600,000 let's take a look at this change this example a little bit let's assume Mexican tax rate was 40% well if Mexican tax rate was 40% we made two million dollars in profit we have to send the Mexican government a check for 800,000 that's the tax liability well the US tax is only 600,000 so what's gonna happen is this the credit is the lesser of taxes paid or if that money was taxed in the US it will be 600,000 the lesser of these two is six hundred thousand dollar what does that mean it means green did not enjoy the full recovery of taxes paid in Mexico how much was not enjoyed two hundred thousand so the gadget profit are subject to a two hundred thousand dollar double in quote double tax this year because what happened is we paid that two hundred thousand in Mexico we cannot recover it in the US so that's what happened even when we apply the foreign tax credit to only give us six hundred thousand now did we lose this 200,000 forever not at all what you can do is this you can take and go back one year amend your taxes carry it back one year and then forward 10 years so you can have this credit this 200,000 tax credit to offset future years this is an example of a corporation let's take a look an example for individuals let's take a look at Maggie her taxable income was 88 thousand nine hundred dollar that included ten thousand in foreign source income so that's her total US but that included ten thousand in income Maggie's computed her tax liability in the US and her tax liability was eighteen thousand also Maggie paid two thousand five hundred on her foreign interest income well let's kind of real quick back of an envelope computation let's see what was her foreign tax rate her foreign tax rate whatever that country she up she got that income from 2500 and she earned ten thousand dollar the foreign tax rate is 25 percent let's take a look at her US based tax income the effective rate well she paid eighteen thousand dollar and that's based on seventy eight thousand nine hundred so her tax rate is approximately 22.81 percent so notice this is again back of the envelope computation don't rely on this it's just back of the envelope notice she paid 25 percent in the foreign country her tax rate in the u.s is only 22.81 simply put it's lower than her even if you used 88,000 let's assume you used 88,000 if you took 18,000 divided by the 88,900 i took that money out it's approximately just to be more technical let's include everything 88 now 88,900 in the denominator so her US tax rate is 20.24 percent so the point is any way you any way you look at it again this is not the proper computation but I want you to see that Maggie paid more in taxes on her income so how do you compute exactly the amount then well here, here's how you do you'll take your foreign source taxable income and you'll divide it by your worldwide taxable income then you multiply this number to find out what are you doing with this computation this computation is figuring out how much of your income was what percentage of your income is foreign income which is your foreign income divided by worldwide taxable income then you will take this percentage multiplied by the US income tax liability before taking into account the foreign tax credit which is 18,000 and this is the US income tax attributed to the foreign tax so this is how much you should have paid if you earn this money in the US so 10,000 divided by 88,900 let's let's find the percentage if we take $10,000 divided by 88,900 and that's going to be approximately 11.24 percent so 11.24 percent of Maggie's income was foreign income therefore and her total tax bill was 18,000 therefore her taxes her tax her her u.s income tax attributed to foreign tax is 2024 2024 dollars now maggie paid 2500 how much credit are we going to give maggie we're only going to give maggie 2024 2024 dollars the lesser of 
what she paid 2500 and how much she should have paid 2000 $24. Now, what's going to happen with the difference? Well, what can Maggie do? She could go back one year and use that credit, which is 476, or she can carry this credit for the next 10 years. Let's take a look at another example. Sarah paid foreign income tax of 1,400 on her foreign income of 8,400. Now, real quick, if you want to, you can take you can take 1,400 divided by 8,400, and we'll find out that Sarah is paying almost 16.66%, 16.66%, which is 1,400 divided by 8,400. Sarah's worldwide taxable income was 90,500, that included everything, and her US tax bill was 22,800. Again, you can take 22,800 real quick, divided by 90,400, so 22,800, divided by 90,400, and that's gonna give us approximately 25.19 or 25.2 percent notice her u.s tax rate is higher i would say when we use the formula she's going to recapture all her all her all her credit so if we take foreign income which is 8400 divided by her worldwide income 90,500 90, we can see that 9.2 2.8% of her income is a foreign income. If we multiply this by the total tax bill that she paid in the U.S., we would see that if she was in the U.S., she would have to pay 2,116. She would have to pay this. However, because she paid 1,400, she's going to get the full credit. So she was able to recover her full credit of 1,400. Okay, and I kind of you knew this at the beginning because her tax rate is lower than the US. So the tax credit is fully recoverable. Let's assume that Sarah paid 2,500 in foreign taxes. What will be her allowed foreign tax credit? What will be her allowed foreign tax credit? Real quick, if she paid 2,500 on that 8,400, real quick, it's back of the envelope computation, 2,500 divided by 8,400, her foreign tax rate was 29.76%. She paid too much. Now, if we do the, comp the same computation, well, the same computation will give us 2,116. She paid 2,500. What's her foreign tax credit? Well, it's only 2,116, but she paid 2,500, that's fine. The difference between 2,500 and 2,116, which is 2,500 minus 2,116, is unused 2,500 minus 2116 is 384 dollars that's unused you can carry back one year carry forward 10 years what should you do now go to farhat lectures look at additional mcqs true false questions that's going to help you understand the concept of foreign tax credit as well as tax credits in general if you're studying for your cpa exam income tax course the enrolled agent you have to have a good understanding of these tax credit. How do they work? Work examples. Good luck. Study hard. And of course, stay safe.